Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play with the conclusion, should we say, of Cameo, uh, back for the 360. I thought, why not dive into a, another game that I actually was thinking about only a few months ago. Uh, Armed and Dangerous. This is a game that I actually quite fondly remember, and... I had my memory jogged of it a while ago by seeing it pop up on Steam. And I was like, holy shit, I remember that game. I used to play the hell out of that on the Xbox. And for a time, it was one of my favorite games on the original Xbox. I've done some searching on YouTube for this game and there is some stuff on it. But... There's not a huge amount, uh, and owing to the fact that it actually only came out on PC and Xbox, and it was never released uh, on anything other than those two platforms, it kind of explains why a little bit. Um, then I heard, from doing a quick Google search, that it's enhanced for the Xbox One X, and <laughs> I was like, what? Seriously? Well, there's a good way of jumping back into the game. I remember this running pretty poorly in areas on the original Xbox. The original Xbox, of course, was a, a very, very powerful piece of kit for its time. Uh, and because it was so powerful, developers did like to push it pretty hard. Um, but I did look at the backward compatibility list on the Microsoft sh uh, shop front on the Xbox for this game, and it wasn't there. I got sad, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to do the Steam version, but I really want to play the Xbox version, because that's what I remember. However, if you type this game into the search bar on the Xbox, it comes up. Hmm. It's not actually listed for me in the backward compatibility uh, list, but it is in the search list. Hmm. Interesting. So I bought it for a couple of pounds. It literally was not much, uh, seven pounds at the absolute maximum. And I started playing it a couple of weeks ago because I thought, oh, Cameo is coming to an end. I need something to replace that. I'll have a quick 10 minutes on this game to see if it's any good. Six hours later, I was still playing it and I was still enjoying it. Um, it's an interesting game. Um, I, I must admit I did drink a bottle of wine that night as well, which probably helped, but I'm quite looking forward, now I have a fresh mind, to see if this game has actually genuinely held up. It's got some interesting quirks, which are quite funny, uh, which will be very, um, obvious almost straight away. Uh, the game's storyline is bizarre to say the least um it stinks of british humor which is quite nice um it's done quite well but the storyline is just it's really almost disjointed and and strange we we seem to be living in this strange dystopian alternate reality which is has strange technology and and strange races and it's just bizarre but apparently we are actually living on earth uh mm. i'm gonna shut up because i don't really know how to explain just the weirdness of this game i'm gonna get into it what i will say on the xbox one x is it runs at basically a locked 60 frames a second at 4k which is very impressive and the sound uh, the actual soundtrack to this game is really quite good and the gunplay as well but anyway let's get into it shall we uh we're not going to resume game we're going to go to new game there are collectibles in this game but they don't give you anything really so we're not going to waste our time with them so we're going to go to new game um, we're going to go to New Game 2, and we only have Easy and Normal, uh, Over the Top and Insane. I do remember playing Insane back in the day, and yeah, 
it's hard. It's ridiculously hard. It, it's doable, so I remember doing it, but it's very hard. You have to pick up the hidden trophies or medals or whatever you want to call them, hidden around the game world to actually unlock that difficulty. Uh, yeah, it's not really worth it, because from what I remember, if you complete the game on Insane, you actually get anything for it. This is back before the days of achievements, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, let's go. Normal. The Book of Rule, Noun. A large printed work with pages bound on one side, an object to step on in order to reach higher places. And that went too quick. This is us, our band of mercenaries. What the hell? What's that stink? I think I'd rather be outside. Who's there? Calm down. It's me, Rome. Pack your things, we're leaving. And take a bath, laddie. You're making my eyes water. Is that you, Jonesy? You ugly rat. I'm a mole, you smelly git. You still as irritating as ever. Were you followed? Don't ask questions. King Forge's men are coming after you. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You're in all the newspapers. You probably led them here. Now get out before... Rexus, the king has linked you to the Book of Rule. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned in my old age, it's that nothing is obvious. You were the keeper of the book. Oh, really? Before you lost it? In that accident? So? So they want you to unleash his powers. Ha! Rexus, you're the one who bleeding cast the spell that locked the book's powers in the first place. Yes, well, it does seem somewhat obvious. So what, uh? We going into hiding then? Ah, that's the good bit. We got a different idea. Come on. Wh what are you talking about? I am talking about the ultimate heist. A chance to do some good. Gain some more recognition. I'm talking about giving King Forge a swift kick to the... Oh, please, cut to the chase. I'm feeling myself age here. We're going to steal the book, and you're going to help us. Are you mad? You wanted men. You can't walk into Forge's territory and expect to get through scot-free. Listen, you filthy git. Once Forge unlocks that book, it'll be over for all of us. Oh, come on, Rexy. It'll be fun. No way. Absolutely no way. Besides, I have my dogs to look after. No, Rexus. Here you go, fellas. Come and get it. Best guide dogs I ever owned. Now on your way. I'm in danger even speaking to you. You. Open up in the name of the king. I know it. We've come for the old blind man, Rexus. Quick, hide. We'll deal with him. I'll handle this. They won't recognize me at all. I could be wrong here, but I'd say only one of us looks like an old blind man. I have my glass eyes. They'll never know that Rexus and I are one in the same. What? Why? Hey, nobody. <coughs> Move. We are here for the blind man, Rexus. Step forward now, and we will spare the rest of you. His eyes. There is something strange about them. Yes, the man's got brilliant vision. He's known as... Eagle-eyed Charlie, back <laughs> man. If you can see so well, go and fetch me that glass of water from the table. <laughs> oh, the damn bastard! Your water, sir. Drop the table, old man. The king wants to see you. Oh, 
My flies! Move it! I've killed the lion hops. Yeah, two birds with one stone. Are you a moron? The people, not birds. <laughs> Thanks, Q. Oh, that's given me a right bastard behind the eyes. Q? Daddy? No. Come on, let's go. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> and here we are, based on a true story. We are Rome, leader of the Lionhearts. Some strange band of mercenaries? I guess trying to protect a book of rule who was guarded by an old shriveled man thing called Rexus and has some kind of mysterious powers that we have no idea about. And the king is after us as well. I, I'm guessing this is a, was a very low budget game and it has a very rushed feel which only gets more evident as, as we uh, <laughs> go further into the game. However, although it's quirky and has a lot of strange rushed quirks, it's a lot of fun here. There really is. Um, so anyway... Storm the base. The king's men have taken Rexus to their base. Your mission. Get ticker bombs from the pub. Ah, yes. The pub. The pub is our base of operations. Uh, we come across it fairly often. We can use it as a safe spot. We can get weapons and uh, refill our health and ammunition in the pub. Blow two gates between you and the base. Tips. Use the compass to locate your objectives and press start to continue. So, yeah, this is, I mean, if you look at the UI and this kind of overlay that, that we have here, it's, I mean, I've seen games that my friends in college have worked on that are dressed up better than this. And there's lots of jarring cuts in this game as well. It is so bizarre. First generation uh, Xbox game to the letter, really. Um, but it's good. It's, it's a lot of fun. We do get a beautiful buttery 60 FPS, which uh, from my memory you did not get on the Xbox. Um, the gunplay is very basic, you know, you can move with the analog sticks, you can shoot. We have unlimited ammo with the rifle at the moment. But what I do like is although technically you have a team, you have a squad, you never control these guys. You can give them basic orders, but there's no point really. But they will fire where you're firing, which is quite nice. We also have um, grenades. Oh no, we can zoom in. What's the grenades? Yes, there we go. Defend area. That's basically what you can do. You can tell them to go over there or you can tell them to come back. Um, clicking the right stick in throws a grenade, which has a very long time uh, cooldown on it. Detonator. Which is a bit bizarre. You can manually reload, but we have unlimited ammo with this rifle, and it's garbage anyway. And that's basically it, really. Now, there is some bagpipe music that you can hear in the background. A lot of people don't like bagpipes, but I really do. And it's, it's wonderful. It? it is a bit nippy, yes. Anyway, let's go. You have found a token. You now have one out of 21 tokens. You need five more tokens to unlock over the difficulty level. One token per level. All right, is that them? Yes, it is. I mean, look at this. We have rifles and machine guns and God knows what. And some of these guys have got bows and arrows. It, it's really strange. Um, the... Uh, Yes, the, the technology level of this universe is very hard to point down. But we do have some penguin friendos. Hey, you little son of a bitch. Who's doing that? You. Fucking Legolas over there. Uh, you can shoot these. There's no point. They just kind of like fall over. It's very strange. And apparently you lose points, I think, for getting friendly casualties. Uh, which 
island critters are actually counted as friendly casualties, which is strange. Lots of explosions in this game as well. They do like the explosive barrels. And what's that? Destructible environments and towns. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We do have destructible environments and towns, which... Why don't we have that these days, you know? Um... The Xbox, although powerful for its time, pales in comparison of the, the, the 1X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. But, uh, yes, um, we never seem to ever end up with that. And the rifle you start off with was crap as well. But blowing up buildings is quite a part of the game. Oof. So you can actually use these to blow up buildings. I think it takes two to destroy. Well, I took one to destroy that building. Uh, we do get some really interesting weapons later on as well. Um, including one that I don't really want to talk about because it's awesome. Oh yeah, you can blow the trees up as well. There we go. Look at that. Seamus the Grunt. You've killed me. I have. Alright, we can only hold five of these explosives at once. But... You can find them pretty much all over the place. They do spill out of the enemies left and right, which is nice. And we do get machine gun turrets. Unfortunately, you never really um, ever get an opportunity to use one where there's loads of enemies. They're always like facing... Is that a spleen? <laughs> is that a spleen? Probably. Um, yeah, these are never facing towards the enemy. They're always facing towards you. Uh, for obvious reasons, we are the bad guys, after all. Whereas, uh, in most games, when you come across mounted turrets, they're always conveniently placed in front of loads of enemies. But uh, that's not the case in this game. Anyway, this is the pub. And we, uh, we're we going to be spending a lot of time in here. The Grunt and Polewart. Hmm. Let's go inside, shall we? Yeah, we're going to find some explosives. Welcome to the Grunt and Polewart. Home of the resistance, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. We have a wide assortment of drinks for you. And when I say drinks, I mean high powered firearms. Excellent. Down with, Down with the king. Yes, fuck the king. I don't know why, but apparently he's not a very nice gentleman. So, you gain the topsy turvy bomb. Press A to continue. So, essentially, you get usually a mission critical bomb. Like, for instance, we have the ticker bombs here, and then you get a single-use other um, bomb as well. The topsy-turvy bomb is strange, as it basically removes gravity. It makes all the enemies fall up into the sky, and then fall down and die. It, it, yeah, it's strange, this game. Uh, and also, we have a new gun as well. We have the Fleming Machine Gun, and that basically is going to render our rifle completely and utterly obsolete for the rest of the game. Uh, the Fleming machine gun does not have unlimited ammo. We can only hold 1,100 bullets for it. <laughs> only. But ammo is common. It's everywhere. So we'll never use the rifle again. We will get other weapons though. You have the ticker bombs. Your mission. Yes, blow two gates. Yeah, we know that. Yes, this machine gun is really quite good, actually, from what I remember. Anyway, oh yeah, we do have that compass up in the top there. You can see the red arrow, or the red portion of it, is always pointing towards where you need to go. Maps can be quite big in this game, um, but they're never uber complicated. And look at that UI. Look at how basic that is. Never mind. Anyway, let's step back. This game is so jank. Boom! But so fun. I do like the explosive uh, action in this game. Right. Come on, you bastards. Ah! <laughs> if I had balls. Yes, quite. Uh, we have these sirens that will infinitely spawn enemies on us, but again, they're nothing to worry about. Some liberal use of bullets. Sends everybody to their grave. I mean, I don't know what we're fighting. There's obviously more than just humans in this place. Oh, shit. Wasted them. Look at him hiding in a little foxhole. Oh, there's a couple of them in foxholes. It would be nice if we could get... Oh, God. Who's throwing explosives? Explosives with the longest cooldown ever. Okay. Wouldn't be that useful. Now these buildings here, we'll see these everywhere. 
These are enemy spawn points. Barracks almost, I guess. I think they take two explosives to destroy. There we go, more or less. Avenge me! There will be nobody avenging you, my lad. Oh, look at this. Nice little party up here. All right, let's go to work. Come on, boys. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. The enemy grunts in this game are, like, pretty basic, to be honest. We do have some challenging encounters later on, though. It's not just these enemy grunts that you have to um, be careful about. There are some spicy gun emplacements and things later on. Look at that. Trees on fire burning down. Lovely. All right, you're dead. Oh, you little bastards. That's what I mean. These little spawn tents here. You've got to be really careful about those. Nice. Now, you can always go back throughout the levels as well, which is quite nice. So you can always go back to the pub. But the pub only has a certain amount of health that it can replenish you. Uh, but I believe you can keep going back for ammo as much as you like. Right, let's demo this up. Right, boys. Let's go back. Yeah, 100 round magazine as well for this SMG. It's just ludicrous. You, yeah, and that's it. That's, that's how missions end. They just end like that. Man, it just it feels like this game could have used an extra few months to cook. It did come out towards the end of the Xbox's life. 2004. Four, I believe the Xbox really didn't have um, a very long life when you think about it 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 came out in two end of 2001 I believe and it was replaced by a 360 in 2005 it really wasn't around for very long at all anyway mission one complete let's go back Let's go through the gate. Well done. Q and Jonesy will stay here to guard your back. Yep, you don't always have your boys covering your back, which actually makes it quite challenging because there's less enemy targets or less targets for the enemies to shoot at. And we get this mission statistics at the end, which doesn't really mean anything. Accidents, I don't know what that is. I think that's us shooting the penguins and innocent wildlife, should we say. If it ain't that, I ain't got a clue, because there ain't any civilians to be blowing up. So we get a loot score at the end. Loot, I don't know what loot is. I assume that that's pickups. And all this money is added together and added to our bounty, the Lionhearts. So we are worth uh, $14,000. Damn. I guess they really want us, huh? Rescue Rexus, you're inside the King's Men's Base. Your mission, get to the prison, take over the forge cannons, blow open the prison gates, and free Rexus. Alright, sounds simple enough. Let's go to work. Look at these bastards sleeping on the job, honestly. That won't do. Wake up, you limey gits. Rome's here to rock your house. Nice. Okay, that works. Most of these levels are just glorified shooting galleries, but they do have some very interesting maps. <laughs> I could do with a pint. Hey, there's the pub. Look at that. Ah, I guess we can use this here. These gun emplacements are really good at destroying the buildings. And you can destroy the buildings multiple times as well. At least some of them. Yeah, look at that. That's juicy. Oh, some little shit behind me. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Honestly. Um, also, in most levels, the enemies are kind of unlimited. They're constantly coming at you. Oh, we're getting chewed up by the machine gun. There we go. That'll do. Ooh, hello. Who is shooting me with arrows? You fuckers. Oh, let's go to the pub. See what we have. What you got for me today? Ooh, rifle. Interest you in a Cyclops sniper rifle? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, we also got another weapon. What was that? Oh, the traitor bomb basically makes enemies shoot each other, which eh, it's kind of limited use. We've got a sniper rifle now. It's not, it's not super useful. You don't really need the sniper rifle at all in this game. Um, apart from some very select 
areas, which we shall cover. I like the way enemies actually will run to a, a gun turret. That's quite cool there, actually. Now, this game's dropping some frames, which is curious. I don't remember that happening before. Still, I guess the Xbox One X is showing its age. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. Right, let's keep moving. Now, I am wondering if they were going to add more to this game originally. Because it seems very rushed. Some more objectives and that kind of thing. Now, as the game goes on, we do actually get some kind of weird missions. There's about four different mission types that is repeated throughout the game. Which isn't too bad because the game isn't super long. So, it never really gets stale. I remember playing this over and over and over again. These guys will chew your health up pretty bad if you let them. But you can see just how much health you get. This guy taking a shit in the corner. If he was man in his gun, he could have been a bit more of a problem for us. But this is what I like about the Xbox. Um, especially the One X. Is the backwards compatible library. They're really quite good. There's something like 30% of um, Xbox 360 games are now compatible. Not that they're adding any more, because they're done with it now. And something paltry like 4% of original Xbox titles are compatible, but my hope really is for Scarlet, or the Xbox Series X. I hope they continue making these old games available for it. I mean, we know everything that works now will work on a new machine. But I'm hoping that they will continue adding Xbox 360 games and original Xbox games. Because we know all Xbox One games will be compatible on it. If they carry on the backwards compatibility, I will be getting a Xbox Series X for sure. Because I like the idea of just having one Xbox that plays all Xbox games, one PlayStation that plays all PlayStation games. I know, it's a scary concept. But trying to record from old games consoles with old aging control pads and failing hardware is kind of a ball ache, to be honest. Right, let's keep rolling these guys. And what really impressed me with the Xbox One X is they really did go the extra mile. I mean, these old games run in 4K. 4K. And a lot of them are now 60 FPS. And uh, 360 games. Oh, God, get rid of that. 360 games also run a lot better on the Xbox One X as well than they did on the uh, 360. It's such impressive stuff. And I know Sony um, added some PlayStation 2 games to the PS4. Uh, but they, they didn't quite have the polish that uh, Microsoft's back to compatibility had. Uh, these are the turrets that I was telling you about. These hurt. These can kill you in seconds. Oof, look at that. Bloody boulders coming down and everything. Jesus. Right. Let's get that in there. Thread that needle. Yes, there we go. One down. Oh, yeah. The forge cannons are yours. Not really. There's still one that's got a dude in it. There we go. Yeah, these forge cannons hurt. Look at our health. That's the lowest our health has been since we started playing this game. Right, let's grab one of these. And I don't know if this is going to come across on YouTube either, but this game is razor sharp. It really is. Oh, hey guys. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. We actually like kind of destroy the cover, although the cover just disappears. There is another original Xbox One game that I want to get. Uh, and I don't want to record for YouTube. It's called Gun. That was a very impressive title for the time. And again, not many people have heard of it. I like it too, Rex. You're not actually Rex, you're Rome. We're trying to save Rex. Right, mission is completed. This game does very much feel like a beta. It really does. But 
a solid beta. Okay, let's go to work. Ooh, look at that. That's what we're talking about, boys. Oh, you little sneaky bastards. Look at these guys just pouring out of their little hidey hole. Let's get that down. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are not in very good health here, guys. We really aren't. Look at all these medkits everywhere. Grab the medkits. Thank you. I do like the fact medkits in this game are literally like brandy bottles. <laughs> if you hear it. He's taking a swig of the old medicinal brandy there. Brilliant. There we go. Oh, shit. Did they literally just curve past? I think they did. Yeah, they did. Now, from what I remember, because we do need to destroy that, really. From what I remember, pickups don't actually disappear. Let's put that to the test, Chewy. No, look. See? Still health kits here. There's a lot of... Um, surface detail as well that the Xbox had, the original Xbox, which was very impressive. Which kind of really separated the Xbox's graphical style from the PS2. The PS2 definitely had the games. And probably was the better system overall. Uh, I guess that's kind of hard to deny. But the Xbox was such a powerful system for its time. 1080p game, uh, not 1080p, 1080i and 720p games back in 2004. What? Very, very, very nice stuff. Right, so we've got one more of these to blow up. There we go. There is a delay from when you throw those, so it's very easy to throw four instead of uh, just the two. Okay, you're right, Rexus, buddy. Rome hasn't forgotten about you. Let's go pick his ass up. Rexus owes you his life. Mm hmm. So, what's the damage there? We actually lost 100 bucks there as well. I'm really not sure what that's about. Maybe we shot some penguins. I'm not sure. 47% accuracy. Oof. Hey, there we go. The Lionheart's bounty increases. Problem? Here's a little trick I learned back in Kalios during the Lime Dixon War. Mm. Wow. Good idea, mate. What? I've seen this done mm. before. He'll split open the dead beast's stomach and stick Rexus amongst the raw meat. <laughs> Should keep him warm for at least a day. Right. I'll be off here vomiting. No, that's not necessary. Just stick <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. What the hell? Been. That means I feel like I've been born mm -hmm. again. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Rex, listen, we need a way into the wild wood, and you're the only one who can do it. Yes, of course I am. My powers were unmatched in their day. I wouldn't go that far. Stop idling about. We need to find the lady of the pond. Ah, uh, she'll get us in. He really is quite mad. Oh, uh, with it, Q, we need him. Hmm. <laughs> Such an odd game. Oh, damn, we're on 35 minutes. And I went off on my rambling there about the Xbox and the PlayStation. Hmm. So anyway, guys, that is Armed and Dangerous. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. When we come back, uh, I guess we're going to liberate uh, Fajorkin Village. Hmm. This game certainly has its quirks. And it's aged questionably. But it's still a lot of fun. At least I'm still enjoying it, so that's a plus. That's more than what I can say for Brute Force, which we took a look at a few months ago. Quite a few months ago, actually, before I moved. And that did not age at all. That was incredibly poor, but this ages quite well. And in case anyone's curious as well, because I do get called out for being a fanboy every now and again, uh, I actually love my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox as well as my PC. Um, if I had to choose, if I was absolutely at gunpoint, I had to choose between my Xbox and my PS4, I'd probably choose my PS4. But it's very close. Every system is worth owning. Um, 
Although I suppose if I had to pick a clear winner, it would just be the PC, obviously. I mean, come on, obviously. Uh, but I do love my consoles as well, very much so. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.